So on the way in, I had mentioned that there was like a thousand foot cliff uh, that I couldn't show because I'd drive off the road. And uh, so that's it up in front. So right now I'm heading to a trail inside Rocky Mountain National Park. It should take me a couple hours or so to do. And uh, yeah, actually it's gonna be out towards that cliff, so it looks good. Well, here I am at Gem Lake Lumpy Ridge Trailhead. And this is just what I was looking for. Um, yeah, we're up in the mountains just above Estes Park. I don't know what the altitude is here. I'm guessing 8,000 feet, maybe nine. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get on this trail here and it uh, should take a couple hours and then I'll call it a day. Let's go. It didn't take very long at all. I uh, took my jacket off, even though it's like 42 degrees. I'm uh, climbing, I'm working hard, and it's really sunny. But uh, <laughs> it's worth the work. I came from down there. rock features here and there's plenty more to go uh, going up that way all right let's keep going <laughs> wow. Well, I'm gonna get up here for something special. I told ya. Well, after saying I wasn't going to fart around too much with little side uh, trails, I farted around over here for 20 minutes, but it was pretty cool. So let's keep going up. Just amazing. I mean, that boulder is as big as a two story house. Um, and they're all over the place. I just spotted something in the distance. It's really unique. Let's see if I can zoom in enough. It's like a big artichoke. So that thing's probably f five, six, seven stories tall. I mean, look at that. I 
Never would think that a pile of rubble would look so beautiful. And then this, just a huge, huge boulder. And then at the very top, tell me those don't look like two hands and fists. You can see the knuckles and the fingers. <laughs> just, yeah, beautiful, beautiful out here. So I'm in this neat little ravine, little frozen creek below me. Uh, temperatures probably dropped 15 degrees just popping in here, but yeah, tons of evergreen, snow, uh, Aspen, the whole rock formation thing. Nice cool breeze. And this rock formation up above me in the distance, it looked like a giant artichoke. If I can get a view of it. Nope. Yeah, it's up there above that. So we're getting up, we're getting up the mountain now. Uh, yeah, definitely um, snow is <laughs> becoming more prevalent. And good news is after moving through that little ravine for a while, I'm starting to go back up. I'm really hoping to get one more high vantage view here. Let's keep going up, up, up. Well, yeah, I want to keep going, but I'm already 10 minutes past my turnaround time. And I figure, yeah, I think I might keep going uh, just for 15 minutes, but check this out. This is a really nice spot. Zoom that in just a little. And then over here isn't too bad either. behind us <laughs> yeah so I've got to get up there you know what give me 15 minutes I'm gonna do it oh well, if you can hear me breathing hard, it's because I'm trying to do a hard burn up this mountain to try again. Through this ridge, get a view of the lake. I'm like 20 minutes past my turnaround time. I'm going to go for eight more minutes now. But I'm guessing it, I'm about, I don't know, 10,000 feet. I'll have to check that later. And I'll. I'll put a little 
notation on the video, but you know, just taking a little break to catch my breath. I was really hauling ass up this part of the trail, which is probably not smart because it's really icy down there, but let's keep hauling ass. Well, I revised my turnaround time twice to make this happen, but I got here. And I'm five minutes ahead of my second turnaround time, or third. Uh, so, yeah, there it is. Gem Lake. And it looks like it's frozen solid. Presumably, I am not going out on that ice though. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'll try. If we got five minutes, I might try to get my way up there for a spectacular view. Let's give it a shot. So there it is, hike to uh, Gem Lake outside of Estes Park, Colorado. Uh, amazing, wish I had more time today, but uh, <clears throat> that's gonna do it for this video because I need to get down this mountain safely and I'm not gonna do any recording. It's really icy on the way down. It's more dangerous than coming up through the ice. So I'm just going to concentrate on my footing and my stability and getting down the mountain in time to get back through the mountains all the way to Fort Collins before it gets dark. But yeah, absolutely incredible. Thanks for coming along. See you in the next one.